Welcome to Berlin, where I have a band called Fjörgin with me. First of all, could you tell me what and who are band called for Fjörgin? Um, Fjörgin is from the uh, Icelandic mythology and it means nature. And for us it means earth. So it's um, a god of earth and in this context, um, yeah, we're singing about the earth in, yeah, how can I say, um, in its different ways. So we are more um, a critical band than, for example, uh, a band singing about natural phenomena or something like this. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he only can say yes or no. So. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you have talked about the antithesis of the band. Is Fjörgin a band with a message? And if so, what is the message? Um, I think uh, the most important message for us is um, to keep, I don't know, what can I say? I don't want to say cut, so let the mis mistake inside. Um, I think we want to um, show our listeners the situation of the world. So, for example, we grow up with the idea the human species is the most biggest species of the world. And so we do what we want. So we, we make war, it's a simple uh, example. And we just want to say, keep down, you're nothing. Uh, the human race uh, has no uh, meaning next to the nature. Or, what, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's the most important message for us. We, we are not friends of, of our society, of our world at this moment. And because of this, um, we want to show our listeners um, problems of our society next to religious problems, next to problems like capitalism and so on. Yeah. The band uh, Music Escapes categorization. How would you describe your music in your own words? Uh, could you t translate once more? Uh, your music is uh, its not uh, easy to put in some yeah. category like black, is it black metal uh, or what it is. How would you just describe your music in your own words? Um, I think it's difficult to describe our music in just one word because um, we have got a lot of influences. Main, main people say we are kind of black metal band, but it's, that's not true. Uh, we grow up with black metal bands and black metal bands uh, do other stuff. I think we are uh, a project of art nothing more. So we use the ki this kind of music, uh, we need to transport our message. So in fact, um, we play typical metal stuff um, with a lot of influences of the black metal scene, but we also have uh, classical stuff. So I think if you would like to give them a name, it's just it's Jürgen metal. It's avant-garde, it's art, nothing more. Uh, from where do you draw inspiration for your music? Um, I think most people wanted me to say um, we get our inspiration out of nature and so but it's not like this. If you look out of the window and you're watching to our, our society, watching uh, our uh, mankind, you see a lot of problems. You see, um, how can I say, um, yeah, you see the problems of the world. Um, this is the best inspiration for me to write a song. In the beginning I wanted to change something with my music. When I was very young, I was a lot of, uh, there were a lot of influences of nature and romantic stuff. But nowadays, I think uh, we want to give more a critical view on this, on this world. And yeah, I think the best inspiration is taking a newspaper, open them, seeing the problems of the world and yeah, make a song of it. Uh, you released your uh, fifth full-length album, Lucifer S, earlier this year. What can you tell about this album? Yeah, Lucifer S is our first record and um, it was the first time we released it at our new label, Life Force Records. Thanks to Life Force Records, it's a very, very good label. And um, it's a record most people think about Lucifer, but it isn't. Um, we tried to... Um, put our social problems in religious themes. So we're talking about Lucifer, but uh, uh, translated it would be uh, the devil is you. So we want to um, sing or we sing about um, the, the mankind and we give them the, the figure as you are the devil. So everybody's afraid of the devil, but I think the devil is a kind of imagination. The real bad things of life um, are caused of the human behavior. 
And so this record is only about the human mankind and about their part in, it, in their own history. Um, yeah, as, as the devil. Okay, how was the making of this album? As I understood, the previous album, uh, Monument Ende, was not an easy one for you. No, it wasn't. No, Mon Monument Ende was uh, a terrible situation <coughs> during the recording because we recorded three or four songs and then we uh, put them all away, throw them away and said we start new. And it took a very long time. Unfortunately, it's very often like this because um, we are nowadays we are a, a band. Uh, years before I wrote everything alone and now as a band um, we tried to get all influences of all musicians and because of this it was difficult for us um, to put all together and uh, now Lucy for us it was it took a long time um, but in, in the end we said all right um, not so much how can I say uh, not so much magic just we make this record and we recorded it in a very fast time uh, with our new guitar player, Philip, and he made a very, very good job during this recording process. He uh, brought very, very good ideas to the songs. It was a complete new situation for us. It was perfect. Uh, as you said, Stefan, uh, you started this uh, band as a solo project in 2003. How would you describe the band's journey so far? I think it was a very interesting journey. So in fact, it's, it's nearly 15 years, and we've got in contact, uh, got in contact with a lot of great bands. We played great stages together with bands I listened to uh, since my youth. And nowadays, um, I think Fjorgen is more a kind of um, how can I say, um, Geheimtipp. Um, let me think about. It. It's just um, nobody really knows Fjorgen. It's a it's a underground band. In our beginning it was like it was Peggy and Symphonic and so on and nowadays we are more underground than before and on the one side it's a very good fact because we can make our own stuff. We are, have not the problem to say all right we have to make this music otherwise we lo uh, lose our fans. On the other side it's uh, very difficult because um, if you have a good record and it d d does not sound like other uh, releases of bands uh, then it's hard to survive um, in this year um, on this market. Yeah, but uh, in fact, uh, I think it was a very interesting journey until now because we get in contact with a lot of interesting people, have the possibility to make an interview with guys from Finland. I, I don't know so many bands who make interviews with Finnish magazines. It's great. Yeah, so in fact, I love my job. Okay, and how do you see the band's future? Um, during our journey to Berlin today, uh, we talked about our new record and in fact, I think everything is open. We don't have um, the, 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 the aim to say next year we have to release a new record. So um, we started recording new stuff. Um, we also discussed about uh, the main title, but um, in fact, we will stay together. In fact, we will make noise again and I'm sure it will be different than Lucy for S. It will be different than Jahreszeit and Monument Ende. It will a typical will be a typical Fjorgen record uh, like no one else before. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and uh, break leg tonight. Thank you. Well, no, thank you. Yeah. He said thank you once more. It's not only yes and no. Great, <laughs> great. <laughs>